Accounting Superstars. This is Professor Don Bush from the Accounting Superstar channel. So glad you're here. I've been a professor for about 30 years and a CPA for about that long, and I've got great ways to explain accounting. So you've come to the right place. Kind of a cloudy day here in Colorado. Sort of a little gloomy and cloudy out. We probably are going to get some uh, storms here this afternoon. So, hey, I've got a picture of... Regis University where I teach. It's a wonderful school and if you're thinking about um, studying accounting this is a good place to go. So uh, beautiful place uh, Regis University. So let's get started. So today's lesson is about um, doing variances for an entire income statement. So it's really easy. It's, it's, it's an easy lesson today. And uh, but you do have to think. You can't turn your brain off and and go automatic. You have to um, watch what you're doing. So here we go. So here's an income statement for Sunset Sailboat Company. They make beautiful sailboats, and um, a lot of them custom sailboats. And so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the variances here. And and this is going to be a report that the uh, president and the board of directors receives. So it's a it's a important uh, report. So sales revenue, so let's look at it. The budget here, we've got a budget column in a pink color and the actual in a green color. And we're gonna figure out, well, is this better than we thought or is it uh, worse than what we budgeted? That kind of thing. So it turns out with sales revenue that the actual numbers are bigger than the budget. Now, I don't know about you, but I would think that's a pretty nice thing, you know, selling more than you thought you would. So we're going to put this down as favorable. So what we'll do is we'll just simply find the difference between the two numbers here. So the difference is $600,000, and um, we're putting it as favorable because uh, what actually happened was better than what we budgeted. Now, uh, we have to be careful, though, on the next line here, less sales, allowances, and discounts. The budget was 100000 but we ended up having 250000 Now, you have to think to yourself, is our sales allowances um, and discounts what we really like to have? Well, it's kind of, kind of uh, split here. Is that sales allowances, what that is, that's when we reduce the price of the boats because maybe they weren't up to specification maybe something was not quite right on the boats and so sales allowances that's usually not a good thing and you want to minimize those on the other hand sales discounts maybe those were discounts for people paying us cash in advance so you know so that's that's a good thing we're speeding up our cash flow so it's hard to tell on this one here we'd have to look into it uh, more deeply in fact it might be wise for them to split up uh, the allowances from the discount so we could get a better picture. But the way we'll do it is that um, we budgeted 100000 and the actual was 250000 So let's put it in the unfavorable camp for now, and uh, it'd be something that management would want to check into. Now, cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold, we budgeted 4520000 Turned out to be more than budgeted, and so that'll be unfavorable. And yet, at the same time, it's something that we would expect because sales revenue is bigger, too. I mean, if your revenue is bigger, you, you would expect your cost of goods sold to be bigger. But, it, but since it's larger than what was budgeted, we'll put it as unfavorable. Gross profit. Hey, everybody likes profit, right? So um, budget was uh, $2.2 million. Actual $2.32 million. So what actually happened was better than what we thought. So we'll put it here as favorable. Coming down to the office lease, there was no variance whatsoever. Administrative expenses, well, we budgeted 580 and it turned out to be 510, so we're under budget there. So we'll put that as favorable. And then uh, marketing and advertising, we budgeted 860, ended up being 900,000. That would be unfavorable because it's more than we thought. Legal and professional services, we budgeted 200500 turned out to be 245000 That is unfavorable. It's more than we expected. Office depreciation expense, that ought to be pretty darn close. We budgeted thirty-five. dollars uh, Actual was thirty-four five. so that is favorable. Coming down to administrative pension expense. We budgeted 203 and it turned out to be 190, so that is favorable, less than we thought. 
the total administrative expenses, we budgeted $1,928,500 and it ended up being $1,929,500. So the uh, favorable and unfavorable more or less netted each other out. So we are a little over budget there. Not much, but $1,000. Now, operating profit, we budgeted $271,500 and we are quite a bit over that, which is a good thing. Uh, 390,500 so this is going to be favorable the difference between the two is a favorable favorable variance now we're coming down to other revenue expenses gains losses these are miscellaneous items interest expense we budgeted 58,300 and it ended up being 57,400 so that is a favorable variance maybe we got a little lower interest rate than we were expecting Gain on sale of old factory machinery. We were expecting a gain of 15,000, but we ended up having a gain of 10. So that would be an unfavorable variance. The gain wasn't as big as we thought. Net income tax before net income be <clears throat> net income before tax. So we have 228,200 ended up being 343,100, quite a bit bigger than what we expected. That's a good thing to have your net income higher. Tax expense, well, if your net income's higher, you'd expect your tax expense to be higher. So 41,076 was the budget, 61,758 was the actual. So we will have an unfavorable variance. And finally, net income here. So net income, 187, 124, and uh, the actual was 281,342. So that's better than we expected. So there we go. So the overall net income had a favorable variance of 94,218. Now, uh, very quickly here, how should we read this uh, statement? Because um, oftentimes favorable variances don't really mean favorable, you know. So, so what management needs to do at this point is really look at these variances and think about them and, and possibly get uh, more information regarding them, uh, maybe dig deeper. Now, uh, the sales revenue, uh, we had a favorable variance of 600,000, and that's a good thing. We probably sold a few more boats than expected. Uh, troublesome, though, is this uh, sales allowances and discounts. It seems that that is kind of out, out of proportion here, is that Sure, sales went up. Sales went up maybe 9%, 10%, but uh, the allowances and discounts went up, I mean, one and a half times, you know, something like that. Uh, it, it's quite a bit bigger, right? And so um, that's not good. They, they would definitely want to check into that. Now, cost of goods sold, uh, they'd have to check into this also to make sure that we're comparing apples with apples here because um, if the budget was to sell 10 sailboats, let's say, and they actually sold 12. Well, does this budget reflect um, what the cost of goods sold would have been if we, you know, budgeted 12 sailboats? So that needs to be looked into also, and that'll take some some depth. I, I've we've got some, um, or I've got some other videos here that I've made on this, and you can find them on my webpage here, accountingsuperstars.com. I've got all the uh, videos listed by topic. So coming down to gross profit, it's nice that that was bigger, but it, you know, it depends on, on the cost of goods sold, really. Administrative salaries, why are we less than by 70,000 here? Why is that a fa favorable variance? Did we not hire somebody that we were supposed to hire? Uh, the president, the board of directors might want to look into that. It's like, well, why is this lower uh, th than it should have been? Uh, legal and professional services, you may want to look into that, you know, 44500 over budget. Um, what are the attorneys doing? Are they billing us for things that we are not asking for? Attorneys do that sometimes. They'll, they'll, you got to watch them. They'll, they'll bill you for just opening up your file and taking a look at it. They're, they're you really got to keep your thumb on them. Now, well, another thing here that's kind of bothersome is the administrative and pension expense. Uh, it was budgeted to be 203 and it ended up being 190, so that needs to be looked into. And, and the reason why it needs to be looked into is there's a possibility that the company is promising workers pensions, but not 
fully funding those pensions. And this is very common in uh, especially governments. Governments are notorious for this, like state governments. Oh my gosh, they are promising their workers these wonderful pension benefits, but not bothering to put money into the pension fund. So not a good thing. Now, overall, the uh, operating profit was um, was you know better than expected, uh, and but with that said, we still need to check into these uh, items that are going on here. Uh, interest expense, not a big deal here. May, you know, maybe we got a better interest rate. Uh, gain on the sale of machinery was less than we thought. It's just happens. And the uh, income tax expense, if, you're, if your income's bigger, you would expect your income tax to be bigger. So anyways, if I were on the board of directors, and I have been on the board of directors of companies and organizations, uh, these are some things that I'd want to know a lot more about, these things that I, I highlighted. So if this video helped you out, uh, folks, well, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. It's free. There's no charge. And also on my webpage, accountingsuperstars.com, I've got all these videos listed by topic. So just to wrap it all up, folks, when you're doing the variances for an income statement, you got to really think, well, is it good that we're over what we budgeted or is it bad that that it we're over what we budgeted so you have to think each line out it, it's not something you can just automatically do i know I, i've had students that um, somehow figure out a system and they'll just copy the system all the way down and it turns out they're they're wrong half the time so you got to think each line through so anyways i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and until next time over and out.